All right, Mr. Ahmed here, day two of completing the square. Uh, this process is what we are going to have to use if the leading coefficient is not one. So it's not saying x squared. It says something like 2x squared or 4x squared, 3x squared. We cannot use the completing the square process unless we can get that uh, leading coefficient to be one. So what we are going to do to make that leading coefficient one is divide everything by the leading coefficient. Okay, and then we're gonna complete the process just like we did in part one. So, first example says 2x squared plus 20x minus eight equals zero. So the leading coefficient is not one, it is two. So we need to divide everything by two. All of the terms are going to be divided by two. If we do it to one side, we have to do it to the other. So when we divide everything by two, two over two is just gonna be one, so now our leading coefficient is one. We have an x squared. 20 over two is 10x, and negative eight divided by two is negative four, and zero divided by anything is zero. So now our process, Keep in mind, we wanna get this constant term over to the other side, so we are going to add four to both sides. X squared plus 10X plus our box, that's where we're gonna complete the square, equals four plus our box, okay? So, what goes in the box? What goes in the box? We have to take B, over two and square it. So b is 10, that's equal to 10 over two squared. 10 divided by two is five, five squared is 25. So 25 is going in both boxes. Now we have our perfect square trinomial. The middle term's positive. So we're gonna have an x plus, square root of 25 is five. x plus five squared equals four plus 25, that's 29. Next step, take the square root of both sides. Don't forget the plus and the minus. And we are left with those cancel, squared, square root, gone, x plus five equals plus or minus the square root of 29. Now, don't forget, you have to find both solutions. So when I subtract five from both sides, I will rewrite it. I'm going to slide all the way over to here. Our first one, our negative five is over on the right, so x is equal to negative five plus the square root of 29. And our second is negative five minus the square root of 29. And now at this stage, type those into your calculators, all right? Make sure you close the parentheses on the square root depending upon what calculator that you're using and we will get x to equal approximately 0.39, and x is also equal to approximately negative 10.39. So you will need to type those in to your calculators to find them. We don't know what the square root of 29 is off the top of our head. Round it to two decimals, okay? Next one, last example for completing the square. In this case, our leading coefficient is not one, it is three. So we divide everything by what that is, which is three. All terms by three. Three over three is one. Now our leading coefficient is one. 24 divided by three, we have a negative. So that's negative eight X. 27 over three is plus nine equals zero. Next step, bring the constant to the other side. We just need our X squared and our X on the left. So I'd have X squared minus eight X, subtract nine from both sides. Okay, that's what we're doing to move it plus our box equals negative nine plus our box. Now to complete the square, b squared, or sorry, b over two squared. In this case, b is negative eight. So we have negative eight over two squared. Negative eight over two is negative four. Negative four squared is positive 16. You should always get a positive number here. Plus 16, plus 16, that's going in. Now our perfect square trinomial can be factored. 
middle term's negative, x minus square root of 16 is 4 equals negative 9 plus 16. That adds up to 7. Take the square root. Take the square root. Square root squareds cancel each other off. Those are gone. That's why we're putting that in. So x minus 4 equals plus or minus. Don't forget that plus minus. Plus or minus the square root of 7. Add the 4 to solve for x and find both solutions. x is equal to 4 plus the square root of 7 and x is also equal to 4 minus the square root of 7. Okay, don't forget to do both the positive and the negative solutions. This 4 is over here. So 4 plus square root of 7, 4 minus square root of 7. At this stage, you have to type those into your calculators. The square root of 7 is indeed a decimal. And we will get about 6.65 and 1.35. And that is it for our second half of completing the square. Have a good rest of the day.